In around 400 BC, Aristotle stated that eels came from the guts of the earth. He was wrong, but it took until the early 20th century to solve the mystery, when the Danish biologist Johann Schmidt surveyed the Atlantic Ocean and revealed to the world that European eels are in fact born into the Sargasso Sea and then drift to Europe on currents. But this means that adult European eels have to retrace that migration and journey back more than 6,000 kilometres to the Sargasso to reproduce. The problem is that, even since Smith's discovery, no one has ever caught an eel in the Atlantic Ocean. Once eels leave Europe in the autumn, they disappear, and their journeys are untraceable. In the Iliad Project, a collaboration of 12 European laboratories, we set out to track eels across the Atlantic. To do so, we attached satellite tags and buoyant electronic loggers to eels, and then released the eels at the coast. After a while, the satellite tags detach from their host and rise to the ocean surface, where they transmit their data to satellites and back to our laboratories. With our electronic loggers, we were reliant on them floating back to land and being found by beachcombers. It sounds a risky way to collect data, but these photos tell you that it works. Using these technologies, we were able to reconstruct the routes of eels more than 5,000 kilometres from mainland Europe to the Azores. But eel migration is risky. We documented predation of eels by sharks, seals, whales and tuna. Our work also showed that not all eels have the same swimming skills. Some are fast migrators, but others are not so quick. Traditionally, it has been assumed that eels reach the spawning site in the Sargasso around four months after they leave Europe. But only a small fraction of the eels we observed would be able to do so. Do the majority just miss the party and the chance to reproduce? Well, probably not. Rather than a quick and direct route, the migrations of the average eel were projected to last on average 11 months, which gets them to the Sargasso in time for the start of the next spawning season. This evidence for a mixed migratory strategy is a challenge to the established paradigm and has implications for management of the European eel stock.